All right, hi everyone. Um, my name is Mikey, so welcome to SIGEP. Um, first, I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit. So I'm a recent graduate here at the University of Florida. This is my fourth year though, so I actually started a tutoring company and I've just been here full time as some of my friends are still here for their fourth year. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my story. So mine begins when I was a kid. So I have um, a Christian family and I went to a private Christian school with around 60 kids and I was used to those same 60 kids all the way from elementary school all the way up and through 8th grade. So every Sunday I went to church with my parents and every week we went to chapel and I learned at the private Christian school that they always told you that God is the center of your life and how He can have real change in your life and I thought of it more as like a routine thing just because I was a kid, you know, going to church like, alright, let's go. But then my real story changed when I went from a private Christian school with 60 kids I've always known to a public school with over 500 kids I didn't know and none of my friends came with me. So. It was a hard transition making friends. Um, I wasn't really used to it after knowing the same kids my whole life. So um, it got a little hard to make friends. And then going into my sophomore year of high school, it was really rough. I didn't really have a lot of friends, you know. And um, I didn't really have a lot of confidence. And I think I was searching for something. And I really didn't have the confidence I thought I needed. So it got to around February of my sophomore year. This is like 2016. It's a while ago. And I remember thinking to myself, like, going to school and some days not even talking to anybody. I wasn't even telling my parents and not having somewhere to sit at home. Something as small as that, you've seen the movies, like it was a reality. So I remember thinking, I'm like, you know, I always heard this from um, when I went to private school and I always heard on Sundays how God can change your life. So I remember every night starting in February, I'm like, Lord, if you can help me, just please help me. And I prayed that every night in February all the way until March. And then towards April, I kind of forgot I was doing it, but I started to get a weird gut feeling, kind of like a guilt, I thought. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's because I haven't told my parents that I'm kind of depressed and it's, I'm only 15. So it kept growing and growing and growing to the point where it was one night towards this almost the end of my sophomore year, which I was excited for because I was in a famous school. But um, I got to one Friday night where I literally couldn't even, I almost passed out twice at dinner. That's how strong this gut feeling was. So then it transitioned to Sunday and I finally got an opportunity to tell my parents. And I thought this gut feeling that's been rising in me for months and months and months would go away. But I told them for hours and nothing changed. So now I'm at the point where I have this gut feeling that's literally like driving me crazy and I thought I could get it off my chest and nothing changed. So I remember pondering my family, my parents, like what's going on here? And then it ends up happening where I end up just randomly, I have to start moving because this feeling, I, I can't handle it, I don't know what's going on. So I end up walking into my parents' room, which for reference was full of natural light, there was no lights on. So I couldn't tell if, the, um, I couldn't tell if like, we had power or anything. But I walked in there, and then I remember just walking towards my dad's Bible in the corner. So I started walking towards it gradually, and it was more of just a casual thing. And I remember picking it up. And then as soon as I picked it up, I like immediately could not stand. And I remember reading it, and I opened it up to a verse. And then as soon as I opened it up, I randomly opened it up to John. And I started reading John 3.16. And that gut feeling, so this is kind of a crazy story, but that gut feeling inside of me for months just immediately came up and like took over me like a tornado. And like in that moment, as I was reading it, I was thinking, does God actually, like, is a relationship with God more than just something you do on Sundays? I was like, is this more than just something you do at chapel on Wednesdays? And in that moment, it went from a rock bottom moment of telling my parents how I have no friends, no friends to sit with at school, and I'm depressed at 15, to understanding how the gospel is actually a part of your life. And it went from the worst moment of my life to one of the happiest moments of my life, and it literally felt like there was a tornado in that room. You know, you always hear the song Amazing Grace in like that hour you first believed, and that was really, I felt that. And I was realizing how God loved you, that He sent His only Son to die for you, which is just, I can't even ponder it. I still don't even understand how He would do something like that. So moving forward from that moment, it was such a crazy moment. It felt like a tornado was in the room. We walked out of the room and learned the whole neighborhood and half the city went out of power. So that was kind of freaky when we found that out. But um, that's how powerful the moment was. Moving forward, coming here to Sega. I have grown so much in confidence, and ever since that day, which was April 24th of 2016, I can never forget, I've been full of hope and the love of Jesus Christ and learning how He's actually a part of your life every day. And moving forward, I've gone out of my comfort zone. I've actually known that I made a ton of friends. I came out to Rush, and I literally live in the house now for the past three years, and I can't get enough of it. I'm here all the time, I'm friends with everybody, so definitely was not an antisocial problem in high school, and having the Lord behind me has just been incredible. Most recently, in my chapter, I have been even leading some sick at Bible study here, which has been awesome. And um, I recently got challenged from one of my dad's friends to start memorizing whole chapters of the Bible, which I thought was crazy. But I'm not a student anymore, so I figured it was kind of like something I could study. So 
I've kind of been studying it, and every week, especially, I've been in the middle of Romans, or in Psalm 139, and there's a verse in there that says, You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment in my life, every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. So now whenever I think about moments I'm worried about, or want to have courage to go out of my comfort zone, not coming to rush, or starting a company, you know, worrying about failing, I remember that verse, and I most recently have been thinking about how he's literally thought through your life, and a relationship with him is very possible. So thank you guys for listening to me today, and we're excited to have you guys together.